In this tutorial, I will show you plenty of title effects you can use in your next project. So let's start with this cutout effect. First, drag your background footage into the timeline and then move it on a higher video track. Now, go to Effects and in the Titles category, search for the Text Plus or Text Effect. You can use both. Drag it under your video background and disable the background video. Now you can customize your title, choose a font and make it bigger. Then activate the video track again and click it. And in the inspector under composite, go all the way down and search for foreground. Then click on the text clip and in the inspector under settings, composite, go all the way down and search for alpha. Now your video only plays inside the text. I will speed up my video clip so it's a little bit faster and adjust the length of the title clip. And to make a transition, I will keyframe the zoom and the position of my title so I can make a zoom in transition into the video. So let's play it back. Okay, next, a glitch title. With your text clip in your timeline, search in the effects tab for digital glitch and drag it onto your text clip. You can adjust the properties with the text clip selected on, in the inspector under the effects. The next effect is the handwriting effect. Go to the fusion tab and add the text node. With the text node selected, go to effects click on mask paint, then choose this brush, go over to the inspector and under mask, click invert. Go back to the controls and let's zoom in on the footage a little bit so we can see it better. Now increase the brush size so it fits the lines of the font and decrease the softness. Then go to stroke controls and for stroke animation choose right on. Now without letting go, trace all of all of your title. And at the end you can let go and it will return. So now on the mask click invert again. And now you can see it starts to draw your title, but it only shows a part of it. So so in the top, click on keyframes. Then you can select all of the keyframes and right click and choose time stretch. Now you can adjust the length of the keyframes so it will fit on the clip. And if we play it back now, all of the title gets traced. Next, we have the type right effect. Go to effects and under titles, get the text plus effect, expand it over your footage and customize the text, choose a font and maybe add some tracking between the letters. Then move the playhead to where you want your text to start appearing. Go to the inspector and scroll a little bit down and search for right on. Drag it all the way to the left and click the little red rectangle to animate it. Then move the playhead a little bit further and drag the right on slider all the way to the right. Let's play it back. Okay. Neon text. Go to the fusion page and add a text node and write down your title. Choose a fitting font and for the color, choose black. Okay. Then connect it with the media in. Right click it, copy and paste. And connect it with the merge node again. And with, with the second text clip selected, go to color and choose your neon color. Press shift spacebar and search for glow. 
select this glow and add it. We will leave it like it is and add another glow. With this glow we will increase the glow size to about 80. Let's move it a little bit higher and select the bottom glow and add another glow. This time we increase the glow size to about 200. Reduce the glow a little bit. Now go with the timeline cursor all the way to the front and select the second match node. In the inspector go to settings, press the little square to animate and drag the blend all the way to zero. Then move the play a few frames further and increase the blend to 100. You can create an alternating animation of the blend in the whole timeline to create a flickering effect. Number 6, the cinematic title. Go to the fusion page, add a text node, write down your title, choose your font, maybe increase the size a little bit, and now go to the text box, right click it, press on follower. Then go to modifiers and on the other click on random but one by one. Increase the delay to about 2.0 and then go to shading. Press on both X and Y the animation keyframe, increase it all the way to 20. Then move your player to the time where you want your title to be completely visible. Go back to the softness and decrease it all the way. Okay, let's play it back. And the last title effect, our mirror effect. We built this title in the fusion tab again. We need a text node. Select it and write your font down, customize it. Okay. Now copy your text node and paste it and connect the second text node with the match one. With the match two selected, go to flip and press this vertical flip and Let's align both texts, then go to settings and decrease the blend a little bit. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If yes, you can leave a like or watch the next tutorial. See you then.